Does your house look like this one? And would you like to make it look better? Here are 10 ways that you can improve your home. I'm Jamie, grab yourself a cup of tea and some biscuits. Let's get building. A simple but effective way of improving your house is to create an overhang with the roof along the sides and the ends of your home. When placing down one of your roof sections, if you just line it up at the end of your house, you'll be able to use the white cursor to line up right at the corner point. I find that using the beam on the underside of the roof piece gives you a nice guide. This way you can find the snapping point and it will overhang by half a roof piece. With this one piece in place, it's easy enough just to snap the rest of the roof pieces covering up any unsightly beams. An extra quick tip to make roofing a lot easier is to use ladders. They will line up with your roof tiles so if you keep falling down or trying to line it up from the bottom, then you can simply just demolish the ladders when you're done. If you add some beams to that overhanging roof, it will add to the realism of your build. To enhance the look even further, just by simply using some horizontal beams and a few notches at the end, the style of your build will start to look even more transformed. On the builds that I do, I find the thatch roofing a little bit scraggly, so I like to try and tidy it up a little bit by using the horizontal beams along the edge. Any doorway would always look a lot better with a porch, and it don't even need to be anything fancy. A simple ridge section, a couple of vertical beams, and to finish it off, a few of the little horizontal beams to keep it in the same style as your roof. And jobs are good on. For small windows like these ones here, a nice way to add to the realism is by using the wooden shutters. To give plain walls a lot more character, the 45 degree cross sections are ideal. To further change the look of your windows, you can also use the 26 degree cross sections. They will intersect into the walls above your windows, changing the shape of them. You may prefer this look with or without the wood shutters. I wanted to pop this option in there because the wood shutters you may not have access to if you have not got to the black forest yet. For the heart of your home, you're gonna need a fire. To place a fire down, you're gonna have to knock out one of your floor tiles as you can't place a campfire down directly on the wood. Time to build a chimney before that smoke builds up too much. Maybe I should have built that first. You can either knock a hole in your wall or in the roof, just somewhere so that your smoke can vent out. You can use the 26 degree cross sections again to add more character to your chimney. Much nicer than just having plain walls all the way up to the top. A nice way to make your floor much more interesting instead of floor tiles all facing the same direction. Why not try experimenting with a few different patterns? You can rotate the floor pieces by using your middle mouse button. If you've got plenty of time on your hands, then try this one out. With the one by one flooring sections, demolish one of your big tiles, then rotate the one by one section to a point and then line it up to your wall. So it's then at the point of just overlapping the top of your existing tiles. You can press Q to toggle which point you want it to rotate and snap to. I think this gives a very cool effect this will give you loads more options for what kind of flooring pattern you would like. Speaking of more options, why not consider subscribing and help me to help you so that you won't miss out on future building tips and ideas. Just by adding some supporting beams to your roof, either vertical or horizontal ones, will improve your interior by giving it a bit more visual interest. You can give yourself a lot more storage space and keep things neat and tidy by placing chests on their ends. Just a standard wall each end and a row of the one by one flooring sections, you can then stack additional chests on top. If you would like to make your home bigger, instead of building a brand new extension, adding decking is a great way of expanding the footprint of your home. If you build your house on top of a hill, it's always nice to have stairs leading up to it which add a lot more character. At your housewarming party, you don't want your guests or yourself falling off the stairs after you've had too much ale. So adding banisters is a good idea. A simple way to do this is to use the 26 degree wall sections. If you start off right at the edge of your stairs at the top and work your way all the way down, you can then stack another lot on top and fill in any gaps with the half walled sections. For adding fencing instead of using plain walls, try using other building types. I use the 26 degree cross here. If you hold down shift, just line one up at the edge. After you've placed down one, you can then toggle to whatever snap point works best then snap the rest of your crosses together to create your fence. Design wise, if you've got a long continuous pattern, it's always nice to break it up a little bit. I've just placed the vertical beams at every third point. Here is a very nice way of adding a pattern to the edge of your roof. By using the one by one flooring sections, intersecting them into the beam. Then you can stack these all the way along the edge and where they join, add a little beam section. You can either leave it like this what I did to finish things off though was use the vertical item stands at the ends of each of these beams, which created some interesting detailing. For lighting up your home, if you're using the standing torches, 
If you want them to have a different look, you can hide them inside of beams. If you place them on top of one of the short vertical beams, you can then overlap the shorter beam and the torch with a two meter vertical beam. I went with this look for all of the fencing and this is what it looks like at night. See you soon and take it easy.